it's your turn. I'm so excited. All right. So it's Chakra Bunny Tarot here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. We're going to dive into your love life for October. It is spooky month and y'all know Halloween is one of my favorite. It is. I'm sorry. I was going to say one of. It is my favorite holiday. And so, uh, ta-da, look what's back. The beauty of horror tarot, we, you, I lovingly call this spooky tarot. <laughs> and it only comes out in October, so I hope you're tuning in. All right, so this is a timeless read. Whenever you find it, it's for you. Although we will be focusing on the energy of October, whenever you find it, it's for you. Uh, let's see what's else. It is not a twin flame reading, but if twin flame, twin flamey stuff comes out, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, but it is a general love reading. Let's dive right in Libra. What's up with Libra? All right. So I'm using the light seers tarot and the beauty of horror tarot for the tarot portion. And then we're doing the gypsy witch and earth magic cards to um and the ring what do we have for libra connecting now to my guides and to libra's guides thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages what do we got for our beautiful libras oh my god libra your energy feels delicious delicious and nutritious all right what's up with libra what do we have for our beautiful air sign libras they feel so good. Judgment. Woo. All right. So Libra, amazingly beautiful start. You are letting go of self-judgment and allowing yourself to just be delicious, right? You're like, I'm done with judging myself. I've been doing this for too long. My voice in my head has been making myself feel like shiz for too long. And I'm done with it. You're allowing yourself to be free free you're allowing your freak flag to fly libra and i love it so much Woo, libra it's feeling juicy up in here look it we have let's see the eight of wands wow <clears throat> so because you are learning to love and accept yourself the energy is flowing very nicely for you libra you got something coming in really fast. What is coming in for Libra? Ooh, look at that, Libra. What's coming in for Libra is a stable, committed relationship, which could possibly involve marriage, right? We have the Four of Wands. If y'all been following me for a minute, you know I like to call the Four of Wands the Four Pillars of Stability, right? That's like the house, the money, the car, the babe, the, you know, the view, whatever, like it's everything. <clears throat> it's the four pillars of stability. Wow. So those two cards flew out. Should we take them? Wow. Again, I, I can't take it. So there's the moon. We always have its Cancerian energy, right? <clears throat> but it's, again, this energy of something being revealed, and we have temperance. So, Spirit is saying, we have to be patient again. You're in the process of alchemizing so many dense emotions right now. And so, it's taking a minute for your person to come forward, or it's taking a minute for you to come forward with these feelings, because you're going through a hell of a lot of um how do I say this you're going through a hell of a lot of dense emotional um interference but the good news is you're doing it very quickly you're just like processing all of these emotions very quickly look at that yeah you're working hard you're doing your shadow work Oof. okay what else do we have in regards to this connection that Libra needs to know about this connection, please, Spirit? What does Libra need to know about this connection? Oh, there it is. This is either your person's energy or your energy, the emperor. So someone who's very patient and knows what they want and is willing to work for what they want. They're very powerful. They're very magical. They're very methodical. 
at times they can come across as very stoic and boring, but it's because they're so wise. They've seen a lot and they know a lot and they carry a lot of wisdom and they carry the king's crown. We have the ten of wands. So you're feeling very burdened right now, Libra. What are you feeling burdened about? Huh? What, are, what is Libra feeling so burdened and stressed out about? You might have things going on. Um, beside your love life and love is really the last thing on your mind here <laughs> you have <clears throat> some of you may have family um, issues going on work stuff what is Libra feeling burdened about spirit page of wands so first of all you feel like your person is like spying on you and watching you and it's starting to actually wear thin on your patience because you're like, I know I can feel their energy. I know I can feel that they're watching me and yet nothing is happening, right? So it's this feeling of impatience. There's also this feeling of you don't know for sure if this person is on your level, right? Like you don't know if they've had enough growth and you know that you have had plenty of growth. You're taking up a lot of new things. You're learning a lot of new things. And you're really focused on growing your spiritual health, if that makes sense, Libra. Okay? And you just want to feel like your person is on the same level as you. Right? And I feel like... They really do want to commit to you. Look at this. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. So you guys are on the same page, but emotionally and spiritually, they may not be on the same page as you, if that makes sense. All right. So let's dive in with the Light Seers. What else do we need to know about this beautiful connection that Libra is feeling with this person? Okay. Your person is the watcher, Libra. Just like Leo, Leo has a watcher too. I've been channeling this for Libra and for Leo for years. We have watchers, people that just watch and love us from afar, but they never have the courage to come forward, right? <laughs> it's so irritating. Uh, I understand it because, you know, I am a Leo and I have been channeling the watcher for Leo for years, literally years, like pretty much since I started this. It's, it's been nuts. All right. I'm. I, in fact, I'm gonna pause it because I'm gonna. I'm gonna write this down. That's what I'm gonna call your reading is the watcher. I always have to write it down. I have to keep a notepad because I'll start channeling and then I forget what I channel and then I go, oh my god, I don't know what to call this reading and I have to sometimes go back and watch and to save myself some time while I'm channeling, I'm just gonna write down what I want to call your video when the inspiration strikes. All right. What else do we have for Libra in regards to this connection, please, spirits? Wow, three of swords. So I don't know why we have this. Let's let's dive in. Let's clarify. Why do we have this three of swords for Libra? Why do we have this three of swords? This may be someone. Wow. Okay. So this may have this may be someone who you already know of. Like they could have hurt you in the past because there was third party energy. Now I'm not saying. I, I don't channel like third party energy like cheating. Like this is that's that's not what this this that's not what this tarot channel is about. Like we don't channel for you know low vibrational energies like that. This could be something like, you know, they have been involved with other people in the past and maybe you were friends with them. They've had partners, right? And you've watched them be with other people, even though you've held a torch for them or vice versa. They've held a torch for you. Maybe they've watched you be married or they've watched you be in relationships with other people. And that whole entire time they've held those feelings inside and it's slowly breaking their heart and slicing their heart open because they haven't for one reason or another confessed their love yet. 
Okay, so that's how you know if this is your story. Take what resonates and leave whatever the fifth isn't. You know what I'm saying? All right. What else do we need to know about this beautiful connection? You know what, though? It really feels like, Libra, your person, <clears throat> this person that I'm tapping into their energy, I don't feel like they meant to hurt you. Like, they had no idea that you've been carrying a torch for them this long. You know, or you have had no idea that they've been carrying a torch for you. And so you're just going about living your life and they're going about living their life. And they have no idea that your heart or their heart is slowly breaking, right? Because, you know, it's like you wouldn't know if you were breaking someone's heart because you're just going about doing your thing, right? And living in, you know, the moment in the connections and... You know, it's not your fault that you don't know that this person has feelings for you because they haven't came forward. And it would be the same thing. Like if if your person is has had connections in the past and it left you feeling really like alone, you know, it's it's because they didn't know how you felt. I don't feel like they have ill intentions with this connection. <clears throat> so Virgo, it's so funny because there, you're feeling right now like there's nothing really going on in your love life. You're just like bored with 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 your love life. You're like everything's stagnant. It's the same old shiz every day. I wake up, I do what I do, and I feel like you're really really craving a deeper sense of connection in regards to your love life with someone. And there is that fresh start with this person. It's time to take the leap of faith, Libra, is what I heard. And if that resonates with you, then it's for you. So there has been a significant pause in your love life, but for good reason. Okay, let's find out what that reason is. Woo, they just threw it out. The Hero fans. Wow. So... This person definitely feels the same way you do. Whatever the person on your mind, they want to commit to you too, okay? This feels like a very higher level ascension type connection. <clears throat> so I'm going to say it. It feels very twin flamey, right? Look, there's the steps, which represents ascension. There is the the whole 5D um, etheric bliss type um, connection, right? That comes with finding yourself, right? After a period of pause and reflection, it's enlightenment. The hanged man is enlightenment. It's also pause. It's also my children are going crazy out there. Um, but it's the type of connection that comes in when you found yourself. But the hero fan is also commitment this person has envisioned a life with you just have, as you have envisioned a life with them. They've imagined being married to you, having a family with you. Okay. All right. Can we get one more card in regards to this connection for Libra? What is the final thoughts you want to tell our Libra about this connection? Boom, there it is, Libra. I'm telling you, this person, there's your happily ever after. It's the sun. It's the happiest card in the deck. So the reason there's been a significant pause is because they subconsciously feel that you want this committed relationship with them. And they feel it too. So there was no movement while... They were trying to unravel their feelings and how they feel about you. And you were in the meantime, were trying to unravel yours. Okay. It was kind of a stalemate energy, right? No one wanted to admit how they felt right away. Okay, Libra. So I'm going to say one final thing. On the bottom of the deck, we have nine of swords. So be careful, my beautiful Libra, not to focus on what you don't want to happen. Okay. Okay. When you start to approach this connection, I want you to approach it with the thought that everything that you want to happen will happen. Be careful not to let your intrusive thoughts to sway what's going to happen. I don't want you to get anxious about it or to overthink it or to think this person doesn't feel the same way. What if I'm just imagining it? 
I want you to go into this connection thinking, what if it all does work out? What if I was right all along? What if what Chakra Bunny Tarot is telling me is accurate? What if they want to marry me? What if they feel the same way? What if we had this fresh start? What if, what if, what if? What if we could have this happily ever after? Because you go into it with that and you cannot lose. You have to think about what you want to happen. And do not, do not focus on what you don't want to happen. Because I feel like if you can see it in your imagination as already done, it's yours, Libra. Okay? So focus on what it is you want to achieve in this connection. All right. That is the secrets of the law of the universe. So allow it to guide you forward and focus on what it is already done. Right? It's already done. This person loves you back. Okay? There's no room for doubt. All right. What else do we have for Libra? And I'm going to prove it to you with these cards. We have Thief. So, I'm not actually sure why we got that. I'm going to be honest. So, we're, I'm going to pull some more cards. Ooh, my ear is ringing. Must be important. Death. All right. So, in the past, there might have been some form of shadow which made you feel like something was taken from you something somebody took something in the love department that belonged to you whether it was a person or a connection and it changed you but it changed you for the better libra that's how you'll know that this reading is for you there's the thief thank you for that clarification spirit thank you There it is, sweetheart. They feel the same way. I told you. I told you I was going to confirm it with this reading and the cards. Two more cards, please. Told you. What do we got for Libra? Look, jealousy. Woo! So this connection is powerful. People are going to notice it. People are going to get jealous. Don't pay them any mind. It doesn't matter what they think. Focus on the love that you guys have. This could be your energy as well. You may have seen them with other people. You may have been jealous. They may have been jealous seeing you with past partners. Doesn't matter. None of that matters because you guys are meant for each other. And look, we have money. So this person's love is going to open you up to an abundance of, of wealth and abundance and prosperity because your guys' mission is intertwined. I told you it felt very twin flamey. You have a shared purpose with this person, Libra. All right, what else? What's the final messages we have for Libra? So apparently your watcher is not going to be watching you for much longer because they're going to be in your arms. Libra, believe you me. And when, I, and when I'm right about what I'm saying, please comment below. You were right and give me my due just. Okay, give me my credit. <laughs> what can I say? I'm good at my job, Libra. I have predicted so many great loves and great romances. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. You got the same card that, that Virgo just got. I just read for Virgo. This is, look at this. It's the Kundalini Awakening. I told you it felt twin flamey. So... This person is, there's a chance that when you guys get together, not a chance, it will happen. They're going to activate your kundalini if they haven't already, okay? Um, our twin flames have a tendency to do that. The kundalini awakening tends to happen right before or during the meeting of the two twin flames, okay? Okay. It's a spiritual happening that just happens. I don't know how I know this, but I know this deep in my heart. It feels right. So this could happen either right before you meet this person or as you're making love to this person. 
and it's literally going to change parts of your DNA and activate parts of you that were dormant. You know, your gifts will be activated. They'll be stronger because you guys are stronger together. The bond is so powerful. We have forest breath. So this is about trusting yourself, Libra. Trusting um, that you know the path through your journey. You know the walk through the forest. You've taken it a million times. This journey, each lifetime, back to each other, right? I, heard, I have this feeling of someone holding their breath. Like both of you have been holding your breath for this new beginning for a really long time. It's always darkest right before the dawn, right? Oh man, this connection feels really beautiful. I always feel it when I do Libra's reading. I feel this sense of unconditional love and this warmth that just radiates out from my heart chakra. You guys are made for each other. The love feels really strong and beautiful. So if you're thinking about someone right now, know that they feel the same way. And look at that. We have Whale Breach. I think we'll end on that beautiful card. So this is a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough. It's coming out of the water. It's jumping and leaping for joy. It's The water is the emotion. So you're jumping out of this water with this feeling of great joy and exuberance because this connection is going to make you feel so freaking amazing and so loved. And that moment of like, I have been waiting with bated breath my whole entire life for this moment. It's that type of feeling like, welcome home, Libra. It's beautiful. Uh, so if something resonated in this reading for you, my beautiful Libra, please like and subscribe. It's completely free for you and it really helps me to grow my channel and it allows me to expand my reach. All right. If you want to book a reading with me, just click on the description box below my video and click on the Goldie appointment fix and that will book your reading for you. I love you, Libra. Beautiful energy.